Uh, we'll go first to Mark Berman with Fox 26. Mark, go ahead, please, sir. Justin, how are you? Good. How about you? Good. Um, what did you? What do you think of what uh, Quentin Grimes is doing? What he did tonight? This is what Quentin does. I mean, we know he's capable of it. We see it every day, practice. And I mean, even in the games. But I mean, we trust Quentin to uh, take the shots he takes. And coaches trust him. So, you know, when he got it going, we just try to feed him the ball, try to find him, and just let him rock out. So what did <laughs> Kelvin say to you guys? Or what did he do? What was the message in the first half? After the first half, they closed within one. And then you guys took control early second half. Uh, he just came in the locker room, got on us, uh, that we were having too many blow bys, just lack of effort. And uh, we, we, we thought this game was like, you know, like an NCAA tournament game. Uh, you know, the different conference. Uh, first round, you don't know who you will play. You know, you'll play a school from anywhere. So we just look at it like that, took it to that mindset, and just knew we couldn't lose or couldn't just, yeah, we couldn't lose. Go to Joseph. Joseph, go ahead, please. Justin, um, just the the interior defense, can you kind of speak on, on, on what you guys prepared for with Bassey and, and just the – Denying him, you know, the ball yeah. uh, for throughout the night. Yeah, we know what uh, Charles Bassey was capable of. Uh, he's a great player, you know, going to be in the NBA next year. Um, but Coach Quantis, Coach Kellen, Coach Sam, Coach Brooks just gave us a great game plan, you know, just to, you know, when he get the ball, make him uncomfortable. Um, and that's what we did. Uh, started off with Reggie, and Bryce came in, and even Fabe just not even, not matched his intensity, but just brought brought the intensity to him. And, I mean, we just uh, shut them down. Did you sense any frustration there late? Or uh, that yeah. throughout? Uh, I believe when Mark was shooting his flagrant fouls, he was at the half court and he was talking about how we on him and everything. So he knew he knew that we were strapping him. So we just kept doing it. We'll go to uh, Chris Gardner, please. Uh, Justin, this um... – Give me your thoughts on what Fabian coming back can do for the team and for you, uh, taking some of the minutes and workload off for you. Uh, I mean, Fabe, you know, Fabian's just a leader. Um, even when he was off, off an injury and even when he's on the court now. I mean, Fabian's been here the longest and all of us in the program, so he knows the little things. But, um, you know, it just – I ain't going to say it takes – it doesn't take a lot off me, but it's just when Fabian come gets me, I'm just waiting on the bench, uh, ready to go, ready to give him a breather. Um, but I love that phase back, and I love when I'm on the floor with him together. So, What can you and him together on the floor do? Uh, I'd say be a nightmare with how physical we are, both of us physical on the boards. And, you know, phase been working on that trade ball so we can space the floor. Um, that's, that's it, really. And just really just bring the toughness, physicality. We'll go to Chris Baldwin again with Paper City. Chris, go ahead, please. Hey, hey, Justin. Um, after that, the Wichita that the Wichita State lost two pretty dominant efforts. Did you did you see anything? You know, notice anything how, how that team took that loss and sort of responded from that? Yeah, uh, I saw when we got back to Gavi. Uh, normally, you know, we just get back to Gavi out of the road game and go home, but we had film. Uh, we stayed, watched the mistakes. Osan didn't even say anything. Just let the mistakes play, replay. Let the mistakes play. So, uh, you know, we knew that we got out tough. We didn't have the right mindset. Uh, we didn't play with too much effort. Uh, so we just know that that can't happen again because we're going to get the same result. And that's an L, and we don't want that. I got time for one more question. We got guys, we're going to go to Andy Yanez with the Cougar, please. Andy, go ahead with your question for Justin. Hey, Justin, you just talked about how big Reggie Cheney was and we guys plan to, to guard Charles. Um, how – how much growth have you seen from him just throughout the season? Obviously, he was a transfer, so uh, mm -hmm. how has he picked up this offense? And, and and now that he's been a starter, what have you seen from him? Um, a lot. Uh, I think I was there for Reggie's first workout in June, and Reggie didn't know a lot of things. Our monsters, just pick and roll cover coverages, but um, you know, Reggie just bought in to everything to the coaches and, and just listened every day. And even he uh, listen to the players after play, ask the players if he's doing something right, if he's doing something wrong. So Reggie always wants to learn. So I really think that was Reggie's big step, you know, just learning uh, our culture and what we do here. But I mean, we know what Reggie's capable of, and we proud of him and seeing him do what he's doing. 